Cockleshell Bay is a town near the sea with seagulls and sunshine and sound. There are shops that sell ices and bright coloured kites that will fly from a string in your hand. There are white painted houses along the seafront and one's called the Bucket and Spade. It's where people stay and two children play with all the good friends that they've made. So meet Robin and Rosie of Cockleshell Bay. Mrs. Cockle was sitting in an armchair and having a cup of tea when Robin and Rosie came into the sitting room. Hello, Mum. Hello, Robin. Hello, Rosie. Mum, said Rosie. Yes, Rosie. Where's Daddy? He's in London today, said Mrs. Cockle. Had you forgotten? Oh, yes. He was on the train before you two were out of bed. Oh, we wanted him to play with us, said Robin rather glumly. Could you play with us, Mum? Rosie asked hopefully. I'd like to, answered their mother, but I have to go to the shops any minute now. Oh, said Rosie, and oh, said Robin, and oh, oh well, well, said Robin and Rosie, both together. Come on, Robin. If we're going to see Fury, let's go. All right, Rosie, I'm coming. I was getting him some sugar lumps. Mum said I could. He explained. Here, I've got some for you to give him. Ooh, smashing. Thanks. Hello, Fury. Robin called. Come on, boy. Rosie said. Come on, we've got some sugar for you. Robin looked over the bottom half of the door. Fury? Is he there? asked Rosie. Dunno, answered Robin. It's pretty dark. Well, just listen. Listen? For his breathing. You know how he blows, said Rosie. And they listened, but they heard nothing. Oh, blow, said Robin. He's not there. Oh, said Rosie, very disappointed. I expect he's gone down to the beach to give rides. Yeah said Robin. I'm fed up. Everyone's gone somewhere. Dad's gone to London. Mummy's gone to the shops. Fury's gone to the beach. And we're bound for the Rio Grande. Then away, boys. Hello, Hello Mr. Ship. Ship. Hello, Robin. Hello, Rosie. Mr. Ship called back. What are you up to? We were going to give Fury some sugar. Cause Mum can't play with us. Cause she's gone shopping. Uh, and Dad can't either, cos he's gone to London. And now Fury's gone off to the beach, eh? Said Mr. Ship. Oh, dear, dear, dear. You aren't doing very well then, are you? No, Mr. Ship, said Rosie. We're not. And Robin said, I wish we were going somewhere. Ah, do you know? Well, as it happens, I must sail into the Rio Grande before lunch. Gosh, said Robin. How would you like to come with me? Oh, yes. yes, said Robin and Rosie, both together. But then Rosie said, Mr. Ship? Yes, my dear? It is only pretend, isn't it? Well, yes, my dear, chuckled the old sailor. I don't think your mum and dad would like you going off on a real sea voyage. Well, not before lunch, anyhow. Oh, that's all right, then, said Rosie. Right, all aboard who's going aboard, said Mr. Ship. And he climbed in through the hole in the side of his old boat and disappeared inside, followed by Robin and Rosie. All hands on deck, look alive now, he called. If we miss the tide, the monsoons will be on us. Ooh, said Rosie, climbing out on deck. <sighs> uh, what's a monsoon, Mr. Ship? Oh, it's when it rains and rains and rains in countries far away, said the old sailor. I don't want my boat getting wet, do I? Getting wet, said Robin, but boats are meant to get wet. <sighs> and then he saw that Mr. Ship was laughing. 
Oh, you're pulling my leg again. <laughs> oh, aye, that I am, laughed Mr. Ship. Right, shipmates. Let's set sail. Aye, aye, aye Captain. Captain, said Robin and Rosie, both together. Now then, the first thing is to cast off. And that means that we untie the ropes that fasten the boat to the land and throw them ashore. So that we can sail away. Exactly, said Mr. Ship. So, Rosie, you go forward. Um, that's in the bows, isn't it? Asked Rosie. Quite right. Robin, you go aft. Uh, in the stern. Right again. Stand by to cast off forward. Aye, aye, sir. Stand by to cast off half. Aye, aye, sir. Cast off forward. Cast off, Captain, said Rosie. Cast off half. Cast off, Captain, said Robin. Slow ahead, boat. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> I mean both engines when I say that, my dears. Laughed Mr. Ship. Not both cockles. Here, you'd both better report to the bridge. The bridge, Mr. Ship? Ah, oh, the bridge is where the captain stands. Now then, said Mr. Ship, I sees a storm blowing up. So both of you will have to steer her. Aye, aye, Captain. Now keep her steady as she goes. And Robin and Rosie turned the wheel this way and that, while Mr. Ship made the noise of a storm and wobbled about the boat, pretending that it was being thrown about by the sea. <laughs> water. Well steered, you two helmsmen. Oh, thank, thank you, you, Captain, Captain. <laughs> giggled Robin and Rosie. Then all at once there was a... Ah! Oh, Ben Gunn, said Robin. Hello, Ben, said Rosie. But Mr. Ship said, Ah, well, no, it may look like Ben Gunn, but I reckon it's a Brazilian bullfinch, and that means we must be getting near to the Rio Grande. Ah! <laughs> there you are, laughed Mr. Ship. He says I'm quite right. So you two go and look out in the bows and shout, Land Ho, when you see it ahead. Land, Land Ho. Land Ho, said Rosie. Right. Ah! 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 Any sign of land? called Mr. Ship. No, Captain shouted Robin. Oh, uh, any sign of land now? Not yet, Captain, shouted Rosie. Oh, well, there'll be a barley sugar for the first one to sight land. Land ho! I thought it might be right. Here you are, ah. then. Here you are, Robin. Here you are, Rosie. Ah. Oh, oh, thank, thank you, Mr. Mr. Ship. Ship. Mr. Ship? Yes, my dear? What land is it? Oh, well, I reckon... Robin! Rosie! Well, said Mr. Ship, blow me down. I was going to say we got to the Rio Grande, but... Robin! Rosie! We must have sailed round in a circle, and here we are, back in time for lunch. Cooey! Coming, Grand! I'll see you later, then, said Mr. Ship. And we'll sail right round the world. All right? Ooh, Ooh yes, Mr. Ship. Bye-bye. Bye, my dears. Bye-bye. Oh, Grand Rowdy, we've sailed to the Rio Grande, said Robin. A and there was a storm. And we steered through it. And, and we're, we're starving. starving. Well, I've never known you when you weren't, said Grand, laughing. Come on in. 
and you can tell me all about it.